Hey everybody, Steve Christian here, the host and creator of Local Haunts, also featured here on this channel with my partner, Pamela Teresa, Medium and They're All. You're watching Medium Royality. I'm also the author of this book, The Scary People. You might want to pick it up on Amazon right now. I'm going to do a video right now that's a lot different than what you're used to seeing. Of course, you know I'm into paranormal, but did you also know I'm also a huge car guy? Uh, love me some cars. In fact, that sign right there on the wall is a car. That is our car. We have a Challenger 1320, and I, it's such a neat, unique car. I thought I would do a video uh, showcasing what the car is. Uh, it's going to be a, a part one of other videos I'm going to do because there's a lot of uh, people out there who are interested in the car, but they don't really know a lot about it. There's not a lot of information available online. So I'm doing this video to let you guys know what a Challenger 1320 is, and uh, here it is. Check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Steve, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about something near near and dear to my heart, Mopar. Uh, I do have two Mopars. I have uh, this Ram, 2019 Ram back here, and also the incredible 1320, which I'll be featuring in this video. So be sure to subscribe and like what you see. First of all, let's do a, uh, a startup here. Um, as you can imagine, like all Mopars, it has the cool key only the 1320s have a really cool uh, key fob that uh, actually has the 1320 and the angry bee on it and here we go that's one of my favorite things about the 1320 other than the performance is the the cool logo inside the headlight which is just really amazing and you have the uh, functional heat extractors uh, functional hood scoop here and you know another heat extractor over here you have uh, something pretty incredible factory drag radials uh, came factory on this car Nito or not Nito uh, these are Nexon um, 275 40 uh, 20s and they come with uh, these these exclusive rims that are lighter than uh, typical scat pack rims they're also a half inch wider to accommodate the bigger tire and there's the amazing uh, 1320 angry bee logo let's take a look inside yeah it's hot and mosquitoey all right the wonderful in interior of the 1320 uh, let's mute our music. Uh, first of all, you have your Uconnect system here, as you may know. You have uh, your gauge here. Now, this thing, when you when you do start it up, uh, I did a cold start, so you won't see it here. But when you start it up, you do have the Angry Bee logo in the center console right there. Uh, you have your your features here. You, you have your uh, vehicle information, uh, cool stuff in there, uh, cool temperature. Temp, trans temp, uh, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, which is a nice, nice feature to have, and your volt, battery voltage. You also have your air intake temperature, which is important to note in these cars. Uh, also, too, you can find that a lot of these in another section. I'll show you that in a second. Also, you have your engine torque and engine power, and you also have your tire pressure monitoring. And then you have uh, performance gauges here, which are pretty cool. You have a, a zero to 60 timer with a reaction timer. Uh, you have a zero to 100 timer. You have an eight mile timer. You have a quarter mile timer, which that's what this car is really all about, as it is called a 1320, which is the number of feet in a quarter mile. So this car was meant for drag racing. You also have braking, braking distance. Uh, you also have a G-force counter, which is kind of interesting and your peak g-force which uh so far my peak g-force on acceleration has been a 1.14 g's and you have uh, a lap timer which i'm not sure why you would have a lap timer in a car meant to go in a straight line uh you have a uh, lap history again and top speed pay no mind to that that was done in mexico okay and there you go back to your 0 to 60 timer uh you also have uh other gauges in here which are really cool And I usually leave it on speedo. Okay, over here to the Uconnect system. Uh, first of all, one of your favorite features you want to use is the performance pages. It does take a second to load these, 
but uh, I always keep uh, usually when I'm driving I keep it in my performance pages and you can set your home page to monitor certain things uh, I like to have mine monitor my uh, eight mile timer which I don't really really use that uh, my intake temperature which I do I do monitor that a lot and I'm actually I have it the only mod I'm going to do to this vehicle is on the way I actually ordered it a couple days ago and it's on the way uh, it's a the Hellcat air box lower air box for this which uh, makes the functional uh, the hole in the headlight functional so it should actually reduce those intake temperatures as you can see it's 93 degrees outside and very humid out today uh, and the air intake temp just sitting here idling it's 104 now that will climb up to uh, I've seen it as high as like 140 145 and once you start rolling it that, that does come down now with the Hellcat air intake uh, it will bring that temperature down quicker because it's sucking in air straight in from the headlight now the air intake on this car is down low in the grill uh, so it does take fresh air from out front uh, the car uh, at a lower level but it's kind of down near the heat of the street which I think would make the air coming out a little hotter but typically when you're cruising on the highway uh, with these cars the air intake is about three degrees hotter than the outside temperature uh, so that's not bad actually so these, these do flow pretty good and get cool air from the outside uh, from the factory and I imagine that's only gonna be better with the Hellcat air box which I have on order right now also another cool feature you get with uh, 1320 is the exclusive 1320 vent uh, marker right there which is kind of cool now these are very limited production they only made a this is a, a 2019 they only made 1054 of these uh, the first year they came out which was last year 2019 uh, 20, 2020s are coming out and uh, I'm not sure how they're going to make how many they're going to make I'm sure it's going to be exclusive uh, for 2020 as well there's actually less of these than there are demons now as you may know this does share a lot of parts with the demon including a, a trans brake which if you put this in uh, drag mode which is a cool feature to have uh, when you're at a stop and you're in, in drive that comes on Trans brake feature accessed by pulling back both paddles, which is very cool. It operates just like the Demon. You pull both paddle, paddles back, you put your left foot on the brake, and you put your right foot on the accelerator, and you give it, uh, you have to give it some gas, get it, the RPMs around, uh, I think, 1800 to 2000 around there, and then you release one paddle, take your foot off the brake, and then the other paddle that you're holding in is holding the car. And the transmission is locked and meanwhile your revs are up there it's building torque reserve you let go of the paddle and it shoots off like a rocket uh, and with these tra these drag radials it does launch pretty well I haven't taken this car to the, to the track yet but on the street it does launch very well okay also on my uh, performance gauges here I have my 0 to 60 timer I have a set to every time I hit 60 it'll it'll record a speed uh, time and uh, my last attempt was a 4.3, which wasn't necessarily trying anything. It was just taking off at a red light, and it records it uh, at 4.3 seconds. My best time on this car that I've ever gotten uh, was a 3.6, 0 to 60, which is absolutely incredible for a bone stock 1320. Bone stock car is, uh, the factory says it'll do 0 to 60 in 3.7 or 3.8, and the quarter mile bone stock at 11.7. Uh, so uh, I'm sure this car will do 11.7 all day long or very close to it depending on the temperature and the uh, DA uh, So I'm very confident in that But I do and really enjoy uh, the acceleration this car has Other features you have on here you have other gauges Which are duplicated from the uh, the center console you can have them over here as well and you also have your g-force counter over here you have your engine dyno, which is kind of cool. It's, it'll show you your horsepower and uh, and torque at the same time, as well as your PSI. And uh, you also have this dyno here, which is kind of cool. It, uh, it's real time and it tracks what gear, this, the torque down here will show you what gear you were in uh, when you hit peaks of the horsepower. And this is your horsepower up here. That's pretty cool, and this this is standard on a 1320. Also, too, on a 1320, and actually all scat packs, you have something called the Super Track Pack. So you hit that, and this opens up 
your Dodge performance control and you have uh, your drag mode set up which you go to that and that is pretty cool so when you when you hit this drag button here you can tell it what to activate with that drag button so uh, I keep mine uh, the engine and transmission is in drag mode which makes it the, the throttle a little crispier and uh, it definitely makes the transmission snap really hard I mean, everything shifts really hard uh, when you have it in drag mode uh, the paddle shifters will be on traction control I leave it normal you can turn it off put it in drag mode which which turns the traction control off but on the street it, it tends to spin a little too much so I do like the traction control to uh, help me get some traction uh, from a dig also the suspension you have drag sport and normal I've never even driven it in sport mode I it's either I keep it in drag because in drag mode this has the same suspension as the demon so when you are in drag mode and you have the drag button down here activated and it's lit right here uh, it says drag right here in the, in the center console that, you know, that way you know your drag mode is on if you have your suspension set for drag then what happens is the adaptive dampers on the suspension the front end of the car will lift up and it will squat on the rear end just like a demon transferring all that weight to the rear tires to help you get better traction which is important these cars are designed to go zero to 115 down the quarter mile so they are designed to squat and go and they do just that also steering you have drag which uh, is really tight I like it that's the tightest setting I do like that sport is a little softer and normal is even softer still so you can cater that to your liking and that's kind of cool this is in drag mode so even in drag mode you can you can have those those settings like that and back to this mode uh, you can uh, set it for default you have launch control okay so you can activate this to whatever your rpm you want and uh, to launch you can practice this i recommend you practice this somewhere uh, finding out what rpm your car likes to grab the best uh, i haven't really even played with my launch control much you also have line lock which is something else from the demon uh, basically what it does is when you activate line lock <coughs> it locks up the front brakes but it frees up the rear brakes so by only holding in this button right here it holds the car at a, at a dead stop while you can do a burnout and heat your drag radials up to hopefully get a, a really good launch at a track and your drive mode setup here uh, so you can set up your custom drag modes when it's not in drag mode back to performance control and that's where I like to keep it right there now the seats in the 1320 this seat is actually optional just like in the demon uh, if you want this seat it costs you a dollar uh, the back seat same thing just like the demon it's an optional dollar to have a back seat and this is actually a real back seat that you can use it's very comfortable it's not hard at all to get in there and a, a grown adult can sit back there you can't say that for a Camaro or a Mustang but these seats are really comfortable these are actually heated and cooled as well and uh, they have an adjustable lumbar support uh, at least the driver's side does adjustable lumbar so you can make, stiffen up your lower back support which I, I keep mine adjusted that way to make it really comfortable for my back also too this does have uh, a cool feature you switch this over to manual and you can either shift it forward and backward to change gears or you can use your paddle shifters up here as well and put it back in uh, an auto mode over here yeah, I've had the car. I bought the car in August of 2019. I actually traded in a Scat Pack Shaker for it. Uh, I had a, uh, a 2016 Challenger Shaker uh, Scat Pack. It had the same engine as this, uh, only it had a cool Shaker hood, uh, which was pretty neat. And it had a six speed manual, which um, I do kind of miss shifting manually. However, this car is so much quicker than the Scat Pack Shaker was, uh, at least with the manual. Uh, it was a six speed. Yeah, that, that car had a, a 390 gear and this car has a 309 gear uh, I kind of wish this did have the 390 gear because it would be a little more of a bat out of hell out of the line and you can see I got the cool 1320 hat kind of cool when you have accessories that actually match your car now in my scat pack shaker that I had that I traded in for this my best 0 to 60 time uh, was a 4.7 and that was traction limited uh, launching that car was very difficult the the factory tires on the scat packs is, is well documented just suck 
they're too skinny there's not enough meat on the road for the kind of power they deliver uh, that's one of the big selling points for the 1320 as it comes stock with factory drag radials uh, the nexons do grab they do a great job on the street and they're wider than the scat pack tires these are 275s as opposed to 245s and that was a big selling point just on the test drive of this car alone i was immediately the first thing that caught my attention was wow how snappy it was and two how it grabs it goes i mean it really it grabs and goes none of that uh just sitting there spinning like i did in my other scat pack so i don't miss the uh, the shaker at all i really really love the challenger 1320 highly recommend it uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. I'm not going to modify it. I'm not going to do a lot of stuff to it. All I'm doing to it is putting the uh, the Hellcat airbox uh, mod on it, which is a factory part. So it's a factory uh, part, basically. So I'm not you know going aftermarket or anything. Uh, so that I have the K&N air filter, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do to this car. And it's a lot of fun to drive. Uh, like I said, 0 to 60 in 3.6. Uh, not too shabby for a bone stock car that wasn't even broken in yet when I did that. Uh, more recently, I did a 3.9 uh, on a very really hot day. I think it was like 95 degrees outside, and I did a 3.9, 0 to 60, which that's pretty respectable, too. Uh, like Again, like I said, my best time in my, my shaker was a 4.7, 0 to 60, because it had the same uh, 0 to 60 timer in it as well. And I before that, I had a, uh, a Charger SRT8, the 6.1 liter, 425 horse, and my best 0 to 60 time and that car was, I think, 5.2. So uh, I've definitely stepped up each time with a, a faster car. And I have to say, this is the fastest car I've ever owned. Uh, and I've had some pretty fast cars, uh, uh, including a, a Buick Grand National back in 1987. I bought it brand new uh, and modified it. And it was a pretty fast car. I have no idea what the zero to 60 time was on it. But I don't think it would have come anywhere near what this thing does. Uh, just bone stock, this car is built to haul ass from the factory. You're actually... When you purchase a 1320, you actually get a, a one-year subscription to NHRA, and you also get invites to drag events held by Dodge. Uh, I, they had one scheduled in March I was going to go to, but then the COVID crisis happened, and uh, you know all that stuff got canceled. But I was actually looking forward to, to taking this thing to a, a test track or a, to a drag strip and actually uh, test it out. So that's pretty cool that the, the factory used to frown upon you uh, racing their vehicles but now dodge i mean with the demon and and the hellcats and now the 1320 they encourage you to take these things to the track and run them i mean do what they were meant to do this i mean this car was designed to drag race it's a a street legal drag car an 11 second car this is faster than the fastest muscle car in the heyday of muscle cars you think back to the 60s when you know you had the the you know the 426 hemis and the, and the ls6 uh chevys and and, and the ford 429 cobra jets and they can't hold a candle to what this car can do i mean and this is stock this is bone stock uh and it it's an affordable car uh a 1320 will set you back in the ballpark of around forty-five thousand dollars, depending on the options you get. I mean, like this has uh, some upgrades. It has the Laguna, uh, the uh, Alcatara seats, and it has you know the full interior. It does have a nice stereo. It has the navigation. Um, the only thing it doesn't have, I believe, is a sunroof, which I don't really want anyway. And uh, I didn't have the side, the monitoring, uh, the blind spot monitoring, which I really enjoy. I had that in my Ram, which I, I, I do like that a lot. So I do wish it had that because there are some blind spots in this car, but you get used to it. Overall, the car drives fantastic. It's a lot of fun and it gets a lot of attention. People people look at it, they don't necessarily know what it is. They think it's a Hellcat because of the hood, but that's the, that's the hood it comes with. But all scat packs come with this hood now. Uh, but when it goes at a traffic light and I leave him sitting there, I think they're all pretty impressed or they think I'm a jerky, the one. Uh, but this car uh, does go. It does what I want it to do. And I love that. And it gets a pretty good gas mileage. I mean, if you drive it down the highway, you can get like 26 miles per gallon with 485 horsepower. 485 horsepower and you're getting 26 miles per gallon on the highway. And that's doing like, you know, above the legal speed limit and you're getting, you know, 26 miles per gallon. That's impressive. Now, if you keep it in drag mode, if you drive with the drag mode activated, it recalibrates the engine and it also recalibrates the transmission. And one thing it does is it keeps you out of eighth gear. Uh, 
if you're in drag mode, you're driving on the highway, it will only go to seventh, seventh gear. Being in seventh gear on the highway will give you a little bit of throttle response and good for passing. However, it won't give you the best gas mileage. Plus, I don't think uh, the, uh, the, the variable valve timing uh, kicks in uh, when drag mode is activated. It may not shut down to a four cylinder on a highway. I bet I'm not sure about. If you know, please comment below, let me know. However, if you leave it in regular drive mode, when you're just tooling down the highway, this thing becomes a four cylinder. And you punch it and it immediately becomes an eight cylinder again, just in the blink of an eye. So it, you don't even know, you don't even know that it's, it's uh, deactivated down to a four cylinder. So I rec highly recommend a Challenger Scat Pack 1320, even over a Scat Pack. Uh, the only thing, I they don't come enough in a wide body the scat the, the 1320 does not come in a wide body i kind of wish it did just because they look so cool in a, in a wide body uh, but you know it, it does have wider tires than a regular scat pack so that's cool uh just not as wide as a wide body would have but a wide body the package that is like six thousand dollars to any scat pack anyway which gets pretty pricey uh and i don't and frankly it slows them down because they have more drag which is probably why they didn't make the 1320 in a, in a wide body format because they wanted it to be as fast as they possibly can make it without doing anything to the engine. And I, I don't know, I, I'm actually thinking there is a little something, something extra to the engine on the 1320 than a regular scat pack because for one, it sounds different than my scat pack did. My, my, uh, my shaker, had, it was bone stock as well, but the exhaust on this is deeper and more menacing than it was on the shaker so i'm not sure why even though it's it's factory stock but it sounds a lot different and uh i just know it it's definitely quicker it feels snappier than my uh my scat pack did my shaker so no regrets no looking back i highly recommend the 1320 uh if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comments below be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more content video. I'll take you guys for some drives and I'll show you some uh, zero to 60 runs in an upcoming video. And uh, I'll show you uh, some before and after uh, information on my Hellcat Airbox mod I'm going to do. Let you know if it really makes a difference. Uh, I've seen other videos where I think it does. So uh, let's see how it does for me. And I look forward to it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, more content coming up.